Hello Gemini and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Gemini. If your Sun sign doesn't resonate, you might like to check out your Moon sign or your Rising sign and for love and romance, your Venus sign. Because often these readings contain messages which are important to you at this time. Let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy to be present during this reading for Gemini. Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. Guidance and messages for Gemini. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave what doesn't. There are going to be many different messages that come through during this reading, so just take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Be sure to filter all of the messages through your own intuition to see how they fit with you and your circumstances. For a private reading that is specific to your circumstances, you can visit katytarot.com. All of the information will be there. Guidance for Gemini, please. If you enjoy the reading, give it a thumbs up, click the like button, subscribe if you would like to, and press that notification bell. I really do love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And a big shout out and thank you so much to all of you who have donated to my channel. It really supports me and helps me with my channel and I'm just sending much love out to you guys. Guidance for Gemini, please, Spirit. Guidance for Gemini. your energy, Gemini, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. My creative power. Looks like you're connecting into a higher source here with this image, Gemini. You're connecting into your creative power through source energy. So this week, I wouldn't be surprised if you are going to have a creative burst or inspiration in some kind of way. You may be thinking of new creative ways of doing things, making things work for you. It may be artistic in some way. Your creative power is heightened this week. And it says on this card, I recognize the creative power of my thoughts. I know that I can use them to build or to destroy. Today I choose my to use my thoughts to create a universe filled with joy and harmony. I will maintain a positive attitude. I have the power to create love and peace. So Spirit is suggesting here Gemini, that you are going to be more aware than ever about your thoughts, what's happening in your mind, and whether you're focusing on solutions to problems rather than dwelling in negativity or being confused, perhaps. So I do see a solution coming about this week for you, Gemini. I see that this involves a sudden change of plans. So what you have been thinking that you were or are going to be doing, I feel that that's going to change. Your direction is going to shift somehow. And you'll want to be ready for this one uh, mentally and emotionally and also in your material life because I feel there's a big shift happening here which may affect all of those areas of your life. So it may not be happening this week. The big shift and change may not come to conclusion this week, but there's definitely a th definitely more thinking about it. There's more thought power here. There's more creative ways to go about it and you're thinking about it. You may even be starting to put things into action this week. But I feel that it's a longer time frame, so things will play out over the long term for you. So this is a really great energy to show up in your reading. To start off with Gemini, let's take a look at your next card. The energy of positive thinking. Just what we were picking up on 
in the first card. My life is full of small patches of light. I direct my thoughts to that which bring me well-being. I place what is weighty for me into the hands of the universe. Little by little, the light awakens in my being and I find serenity. You are going to find peace of mind by opening up to your creativity, opening up to this powerful source, but also with this change of of, uh, events or change in circumstances, change in plans. You're going to feel a sense of peace with this. It's not going to be weighty. It's not going to feel like there's a weight on your shoulders anymore. Things will be a lot clearer, Gemini. So maintain this beautiful, high vibrational energy of positive thinking throughout the week. And don't fall into a negative um, pattern or a rut uh, with your thinking. Surrender to trust. I love this energy because Spirit is saying not only um, is there your own thoughts Um, associated to this change or the change of plans that are going to happen Gemini but also there's a a spiritual element here that you must trust You, you won't be able to think everything out and plan it meticulously you're going to have to trust and have faith with some of the aspects of this trust yourself and your decisions don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what you do Take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path. Well, that says it all really, Gemini. You must trust yourself, what your instincts are saying, what your intuition is saying, what spirit is saying to you, and take action in a confident way in alignment with this. Let's take a look at this beautiful butterfly card. Beautiful. Let's see. Everything is going to be okay. A simple message, but so powerful. Everything is going to be okay. No matter what is going on right now, Gemini, in your life. No matter what is coming up this week for you, everything is going to be okay. Beautiful message. Okay, let's see. We have the high priestess showing up for you. So this is again telling you to go within a deep intuition, deep feelings that you have about this person, this, this change in plans, this event, this situation that you are thinking about. Trust your own intuition first and foremost. And the high priestess is the number two, which does indicate partnerships. So you might be making a decision with someone else in your life or they may be assisting helping you guiding you or you may be assisting guiding or helping them but there does seem to be a union a partnership or an energy here of you and someone else coming together the ace of wands there's going to be um, there's two things coming up here the first thing is that there's an initial burst of action So you're going to be taking some step forward um, in a positive way for you this week. And it it is going to be action orientated, not just the thought process, but also you're taking a step toward your goal or toward um, this uh, circumstance, whatever it is for you, you're taking a step toward it. There's an action that's going to be put into play. And this is also... Um, this is also tapping into the energy of your creative power. And this may be a burst of that creative power coming your way. A realization. An inspiration. So I just love that energy for you. It's very, it's vital. There's an energy of, of upliftment. We have the Empress. This is the mother archetype. So There could be something happening here with you as a mother or with your children or there may be or with your parents. Um, There's a family connection here that I'm seeing. There's also maybe guidance from a passed over loved one that is feminine, a female energy or maybe a mothering energy. 
The empress also means there's a nurturing of self. So you need to take care of yourself thinking about yourself as well as thinking about others. But I do feel for this card for you this week, Gemini, I feel this is more your energy. You're thinking about yourself and how to grow in your well-being, how to grow in your life. It may be in your business. It might be in your work. It might be in your relationships. But taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself and taking your own needs into consideration here. Let's see what this card is. We have the Ace of Cups. You've got beautiful cards this week, Gemini. Really nice cards. The Ace of Cups is a new beginning emotionally. So not only do we have the spark of inspiration and a step forward that you're taking um, with some kind of action that you're doing in reality, but also emotionally in your heart, there is a new beginning that's stirring. So you've got the action, the passion, the creativity, and the emotions, the intuition that's in alignment, and the happiness. So you've got really great energy there. New beginnings coming your way, Gemini, and the Queen of Pentacles. Now, Gemini, there may be an earth sign around you, a Virgo, a Taurus, maybe a Capricorn, There is a sense here of you taking a look at your finances or your work life or what you have around you physically and materially that's coming into play this week. And it may be to do with this sudden change of events, plans, what you're getting ready to do, what this creativity is about, but you're taking a look at your manifested life and that's coming into focus there's reflection on this and that's going to be a powerful um, a powerful energy moving forward to reflect on these uh, the physical things that you have going on in your life it may be health related for some of you you really have such powerful positive cards and energy coming through this week gemini I hope you have enjoyed the reading and I'm sending you abundant blessings and love and light.